Well, well, well. Japanese temple bell bronze Buddhist. Yeah. Okay, let's have a look at this beauty. This is, yeah. Um, what we have here, let's see. It's uh, 473 millimeters tall. And it's uh, 700, uh, 700, 200. 278 278 in diameter from here to here right so yeah what are we saying again uh, 473 tall from that point tall that point <laughs> yeah now this is a beauty in fact it reminds me of a bell I had years ago which I uh, it was from it was from the winter of 1900. And it's in one of my videos somewhere uh, from some time ago. Uh, I've been <laughs> just sitting there, so I'm gonna catch my breath a bit. Uh, what am I, a pansy? Right then, maybe I need to harden up a bit. Um, yeah, it reminds me of the winter of 1900 bell. I would say that it's roughly around that age. It's definitely spent a lot of time in some um, severe weather. Uh, this is its original chain, and as you can see, uh, it's it's been out there. <laughs> it's, you you will receive this chain and this awesome old school striker. Woo! Woo! Hang on, you shouldn't struggle like that, should you? <laughs> <laughs> it's, hang, on, hang on, let's do it properly. Oh, look at that, it's been struck by that point. There you go. That didn't work on the end too good, did it? <laughs> there you go, watch this. Yeah. Let's find that point. That's where they've been striking it for a long time. That's got more wear than that one. So that would be, it would have been set up like so. Um, near the uh, the sliding door, the temple is being the secondary bell. Oh yeah. Not dissimilar to that. It's got spirit stuff in it. It does. <laughs> what a beauty. Now the only reason that this bell was even remotely up for sale, this would still be at the temple to this day had it not been for a fire. You see? Look at that. It has been in uh, the, uh, the uh, temple had a fire. But not to be outdone, this bell survived it um, without any complications it has no cracks it has no qualm in its in its song it's beautiful you see how it's all sort of blackened from the, the fire you see all the the patina of the uh the patina is all over it and i'd say from the design um just some aspects about it uh, i i would say that we, we're looking at around 1900 yes it definitely reminds sound wise everything maybe it was from the same makers who knows check this out oh my let's let's just have a glance at it some more it's in beautiful condition absolutely beautiful now i'm gonna tell you about this now here yeah that's a very famous poem that a chant, should I say, that uh, you'll find in many uh, a Buddhist temple. Now it goes uh, Namida Butsu. Uh, Namida is a god, and Butsu meaning Buddhism. Now that's what this this uh, kanji tells us. Now a friend of mine, he uh, got the thingy. Uh, oh, not that one. Uh, press that one. Now what we have here. Um, the kanji over here tells us that, see here, this tells us 
Here's uh, my mate's translation here. Uh, for the Buddhist devotion for Mizuko. Um, now, uh, for the sake of Mizuko, and that's a female name, he's written it here, female name. Um, and, uh, and the kanji down here says, um, let's see, a Buddhist devotion. Hey, we're turning around. Buddhist devotion, uh, uh, something to do uh, with the the happiness in the afterlife. Yeah, happiness in the afterlife for Mizu Mizu Mizuko Mizu Mizuko is a what's it here Mizuko Mizu sort of the same as I call it small Mizu is like water or something but uh, put them together that's a female name and that there is a devotion uh, a Buddhist devotion yes now this bell definitely would still be at the temple had it not been for the fire with the, you know I presume that uh, considering its age the, uh, the, the spirits of uh, that in whom commissioned this bell We'll be together now in the afterlife. Yes. Yeah. Oh, beautiful, huh? Just beautiful stuff. We can even find beauty in death. Yeah. In passing. Absolutely beautiful. So you don't want to strike it on the flat, or else you can get yourself a double hit, and that won't be too good. I would say, because of the angle of that, did center. I would say they open the sliding door and they'd they go like that and they open the sliding door and then the sliding door would be there and then they'd peek around the corner and because it might be like shearing down rain or something <laughs> pelting down rain so <laughs> just have a bit of a glance out there you can plonk that in there just like so beautiful and sometimes I've seen them do this which is really groovy you can plonk it up there somehow and um, and they can jam in and I don't know always I've never been able to do it Hang on. Oh, he goes, oh fail <laughs> oh I'm just a failure that's what I am oh hang on oh has he done it no he hasn't oh he's a failure yeah that's weird oh, oh. Denied. Now I believe because this is flaking off, just the uh, the blacking blackening from uh, ooh, flake off there. I'm just going to leave all that on there. But in time, as it gets weathered again, that'll all come off. And that's it's not a downside because you would never have even seen this bell. It never would have come up for sale. It never would have left the temple had it not been for a fire. So that's good out of the bad, I guess. Beautiful. It's a beautiful bell. I'm going to put it up on a, a seven day listing. Yeah. And the reverberation just goes for ages. I should just shut up and let you listen to it, eh? spooky stuff in there. Should we be afraid of the spirit world? Mm. I question that one. Whoever strikes it, 